the 37th edition of the Big East Men's Basketball Tournament and the 34th here at Madison Square Garden got underway and got underway with a bang. This is Adashina Koike on the floor of the world's most famous arena in Manhattan as we are going to cover each and every game of the 2016 Big East Men's Basketball Tournament. And in the first game of the tournament on this Wednesday night, we got kicked off with the 8-9 game and it was the number 8 seed, the Georgetown Hoyas defeating the Blue Demons of the Paul by a score of 70 to 53. Once again, the Hoyas, led by their amazing senior guard, Devontae Smith Rivera, led all scorers for the Hoyas. He had 20 points in the ball game, a player that has done so well throughout his entire career here at Madison Square Garden, does it again. And one of the main reasons why the Hoyas were an eight seed and didn't really live up to expectations that they had in the preseason, they lost their big man, Bradley Hayes, in the middle of their conference season due to a hand injury. He missed three weeks. Weeks. He came back tonight and he had 10 points and 7 rebounds, the 7-foot big man in the middle for the Georgetown Hoyas. The Hoyas will take on the number 1 seed, the Villanova Wildcats, tomorrow. In our second game, the number 7 seed, the Marquette Golden Eagles, had it all their way for about 30 minutes in this contest, led by as much as 17 points in the second half. The Golden Eagles were on cruise control. That was until the Johnnies took the lead late in the second half, but the Golden Eagles able to hold off the St. John's Red Storm by a final of 101 to 93. Both teams shooting over 50% in this contest. Marquette 56%, St. John's 54%. And for the Marquette Golden Eagles, they were once again led by their amazing freshman, the Big East freshman of the year, Henry Ellenson. He had 27 points and 14 rebounds in the contest. And after the game, our Lauren Fody spoke with Jawan Johnson, who scored 23 points off the bench for the Marquette Golden Eagles, and she asked him to begin their conversation. Was he more ecstatic or relieved that the Golden Eagles got out of Madison Square Garden with a win against the Johnnies? Um, I feel great. Get the win. You know, I'm just happy to move on to the next round. At one point, you guys had a lead of 17 points. St. John's didn't make it easy. They came back, eventually took the lead. Did you guys lose your composure at that time? What what was going through your mind? Um, it was a little frustrating, you know, a couple of foul calls that, you know, we didn't think was fouls that we should have just moved on from, but it just kept compounding on it. So, I mean, they gave us a run. What did coach say to you guys during this time? Did he tell you guys keep your heads, don't panic? Yeah, he just told us keep our heads, don't panic, keep, you know, be a team, don't don't splendor, just keep going. And now you guys played against Xavier twice. You guys had close games. What has to be the difference tomorrow to get the W against them? We just got to be as a team, be as one. You know, we got to come to play, play defense. You know, it's hard being the time three times. So the Golden Eagles will take on the number two seed in the Big East Men's Basketball Championship. As Lauren said, the Xavier Musketeers, Xavier sweeping Marquette in the regular season. A couple of eight-point victories, one in Milwaukee and one in Cincinnati. The Golden Eagles, eight and ten in the Big East conference in the regular season now nine and ten in conference play overall looking to make a push deep into the big east men's basketball championship the only way they and the hoyas will make the ncaa tournament is by winning this big east men's basketball tournament and over the past 37 years we've seen some crazy things and it's possible the golden eagles or the hoyas can lift the trophy on Saturday night. So stay tuned to a lot of sports talk and a lot of sports talk.com. We also have an interview with Devontae Smith Rivera after his 20 point performance against the DePaul Blue Demons. And tomorrow we will have the Big East men's basketball tournament covered from day to night. Four games starting at noon, ending at around midnight, starting with the number eight seed, the Georgetown Hoyas taking on the number one seed, the Villanova Wildcats. So make sure to join Lauren and myself for full coverage of the 2016 Big East Men's Basketball Championship. From the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, my name is Adashina Koike for a lot of sports talk.com.